in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed In all you're getting, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding, it is established. Join, Join Apostle, Apostle Joshua Selman of Eternity Network, Network International as he takes you on a journey into the wisdom of God's Word. It's intimacy. It's partnership. It's fellowship. This is Koinonia. your voice and bless him. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Can you lift your hands and honor him? You deserve all praise. We bless you for who you are. We bless you for that which you have done. Hallelujah. In one minute, I'd just like you to say, Father, thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for that which you have done in my life. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for bringing beauty and glory out of my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Cry for revelation tonight. It's a communion service. Lord, give me understanding. Give me revelation. We open ourselves to the influence of the spirit of revelation and understanding. That we may comprehend with all the saints the length, the breadth, the height, the depth of the love of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming around. Tonight is a very powerful night. It's a communion service. And I want you to be very, very sensitive. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I appreciate everyone. Please permit me to appreciate two great people. I'm Tim Tokumbo. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you, sir. And Pastor Jakes and his lovely wife. Let's honor him. Thank you so much. Every other person, I love you. God bless you. Walk up to three people. Tell them is good friday prophesy every bad thing out of their life this night is good friday in the name of jesus it's good friday hallelujah please be seated the lord bless you hallelujah praise the lord we thank god for the privilege that he has given us to share on this night and I kept thinking truly speaking and trusting God for grace that we will understand the significance of this all over the world um, this day is being celebrated some ignorantly some with understanding some emotionally but the most important thing is that we are taking our time to acknowledge Jesus and I just thought to share a few things um, with us that I believe will bless us and then prepare us for the communion. The first thing I want to talk about is eternal life. I just want to talk about a few things tonight. Um, 
more like a charge to build and prepare our hearts the reality of eternal life the bible says this is the testimony the record that god has given us eternal life write this down the word eternal life um, it's not a very accurate communication but um, it was the best that the translators could do because the word eternal is not a very good rendition everyone has eternal life everyone has everlasting life are we together now everyone created by God doesn't matter whether we fell from whatever the fact that we came from him satisfies the condition to have eternal life that's why when evangelists preach they don't say will you spend eternity the question is location not the possibility everyone will spend eternal life the idea of death as we know is not cessation from living is the translation from one dimension of existence to another and that translation comes with certain possibilities if you are with god then it's called life everlasting if you are apart from him then it is called death but that does not mean you will not live again are we together the idea of what we know to be everlasting life is from the greek word zoe please i want us to understand very simple exposition but will hold the key to our victory eternal life is a kind is a quality the idea is not another life the idea is an all-surpassing life in quality like you go to buy stuff in the market and they tell you this one is fake or generally for everyone and then they take you into another room and they say there is another one if you have the money they can bring it down so eternal life is not one of the many lives this is what you need to understand eternal life is a quality of life that has sustained within it certain possibilities that only in christ would they manifest being in christ is the secret to activating that life is a life pregnant with possibilities and the nature of that life is such that the possessor of it should be like God are we together so whoever by any means can have access to that life there is an implication that that life should cause in you it should begin to produce certain effects that reflect God if by any means a plant has that life that plant will start behaving like god are we together if by any means a handkerchief possesses that life that handkerchief will begin to behave like god enshrined in that life is capacity to release all the multifaceted possibilities that are in god it is god's own life it's not an inferior type so when the bible says this is the record that god out of his benevolence has given us zoe a class and a kind of life then the bible says that that life is in his son so the condition to possess that life is that you must accept the son outside of jesus there is no possibility of sustaining such a life now there are other kinds of lives that you can access you can access a life assisted by the realm of the spirit it may not be eternal life are we together now i can go to a native doctor to program a mystery in a charm and aid me to live a life that is higher than the normal human life so i will be able to demonstrate possibilities that may not be affordable to the natural man but it still is not eternal life so we are not talking of any life that is above the human life there are many kinds and quality of lives and living that are above the human life but are not God's life are we together when you meet a rich man although it's all human life because of the quality of what he or she eats and the children their health and the possibilities that come with the kind of life would be far different from someone who eats once a week once in two days are we together now when you meet someone who um, has had access to certain drugs 
that can aid vitality you would find that whether they are supplements or whatever it is there is an advantage that those provisions create to such a person that will reflect in the quality of his life from another so when jesus is talking about eternal life it's not a cater of lives and then his own is the highest no no eternal life is a class of life incontestable and incomparable with any other it's a class of life that reflects who god is he programmed all the possibilities in him like a software and encapsulated it in that life so that whoever receives that life receives potentials potentials notice my choice of words receives the potentials to reflect all that are in christ and all the possibilities that are enshrined in the person now many christians come to give their lives to christ we come out for an altar call we recite all kinds of things like many will be doing shortly but very few people pastor jakes really understand that kind of life are we together and not understanding what we have received will shortchange us and for many people their idea of eternal life is we only received an escape from hell which will be useful one day so for now let's keep it and go back to our normal life at death it becomes activated that is the idea that many people have about what we call eternal life so they say are you born again they say yes what they mean is i got that thing that saves me from hell but it's somewhere hidden i will keep living my defeated life and then if for any reason death comes is the trigger i bring it out as an escape are we together now the bible says whatsoever is born of god the word born of god is if it is god that introduced the seed that gave birth to it has in it it says overcomes the world not because of the possessor but because of what is inside the possessor of that life whatsoever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world and he says this is the victory that overcomes even our faith that's something i'll be discussing shortly so eternal life is not life after death eternal life is god's life that grants a man ascendance to release the possibilities of god here and now are we together it is important that we understand this it will reflect in the quality of your life and it will reflect in everything the moment i give my life to christ brothers and sisters the bible says listen to me carefully it says that i have been called as a result of that initiation out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation and by implication out of the limitations that come with those systems are we together let me tell you something about eternal life eternal life is a fact one of the tenets of the christian faith is the fact that when a man declares the lordship of christ over his life he is a possessor of eternal life it's a fact there are many tenets what we call the pillars of the christian faith number one of them is that salvation is only through jesus christ you have to know what you believe salvation salvation is only through jesus christ the bible says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which men must be saved the first tenet of the christian faith is the exclusive authority of christ to be the only one to bring men to the father no prophet no priest no apostle no prophet no religion no sect can claim to route you through another path to the father the bible says no man cometh to the father except by me the authorized medium to access the father and the life of god is jesus christ you are not a christian if you don't believe this number two salvation is by grace apart from works the second tenant of the of redemption the christian faith the pivot upon which everything we receive is salvation as far as receiving the life of christ comes it is by grace through faith 
and not by any ritual the word works there does not mean no action that's not what it means there is an action your faith is an action are we together the works there gives an idea of ritualistic activities i don't have to slaughter an animal i don't have to go to the mountain in israel to bow my head i don't have to face the sun or face jerusalem all of those ceremonial rituals have been ended the bible says christ is the end of that law not the end of action the end of the law are we together now there are three dimensions of the law not all of them left you have to understand this there is the revelation of the law that is the revelation of the character of God that will never change it predated the law it it will never change the universality of God's character is consistent whether from the Old Testament the New Testament the soul that sins will die nothing changes it grace only intercepts it but that reality is still a fact are we together number two there is the ceremonial activity of the law that has been abolished the observation of sons observation of festivals and and so on and so forth in a way to know god is been abolished are we together number three the rituals the rituals that men practice in an attempt to atone for their sins so when the bible says christ is the end of the law it doesn't mean that the coming of christ changes the character of god the universality of god's character is a fact i am the lord i change it not are we learning something tonight you have to understand the tenets upon which you stand that number one jesus christ is the only way to the father number two that justification by faith is an act of his grace you must understand this it was an activity that no man could qualify to even participate and help god so he had to do it by himself the only responsibility of the believer as far as the impartation of eternal life is concerned is to believe and act by faith according to romans chapter 10 from verse 8 and 10 it says who shall ascend to heaven and come he said the word is nigh thee in thy heart and even in thy mouth the word of faith that we preach right that if you confess that jesus is lord and believe with your heart you shall be saved for with the heart man believes unto righteousness the bible says and with the mouth confession is made unto soteria salvation so justification is by faith i don't come to god with a goat hoping that if if any priest asks you to come with a goat you see that he's not he's not practicing all of that again are we together now very very important number three the third thing you have to understand is that the holy spirit is the custodian of the life of god the holy spirit is the custodian of the life of god it is in the office of jesus the son to introduce you to that life but the personality that holds that life within you is the spirit of god and that only in partnership with him will you have capacity to release the possibilities in that life it's called the fellowship of the spirit you must know this if you want to work as a believer the holy spirit represents the ministry of christ now every time the bible says in christ it means in partnership with the spirit that hails from him i can do all things through christ in partnership with him the holy spirit is the custodian of the life of god and the one who makes it possible to release the potentials there listen to me very carefully you can be a possessor of the life of god but not a manifesto of the possibilities contained in that life there are two different things possessing eternal life by confessing christ is a fact has nothing to do with your feelings but working experientially in the reality of that life has to do with your partnership with the holy spirit so he says grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge first peter chapter 1 verse 3 says according as his divine power has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness listen carefully according as his divine power has given us how many things all things that pertain unto life 
and godliness that all things was shrouded in a mystery calls away brought by the holy spirit his very presence is the proof of the way in you he's the witness the spirit of adoption are we together now and then the bible says but they are accessed through knowledge according as his divine power has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness it says through the knowledge here is here, here is the big confusion in the body of christ through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue the next verse says wherefore has he given us these great and exceedingly precious promises that by them by releasing them we may prove experientially that we are partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust so i have eternal life but that eternal life is a possibility potentially speaking is at work in me it will never stop the devil from buffeting you but in partnership with the holy spirit manifesting as various things including the spirit of revelation that paul prayed for in ephesians chapter one he was talking to people who were already born again but were not releasing the possibilities that came with that life and he says for this cause for as a as a token of my desire for you to walk in these dimensions i bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of revelation wisdom revelation in the knowledge of him that your heart although has received eternal life that it be flooded with light are we together now then he says that you may understand the power that was exerted when he raised christ from the dead etc etc so i can be born again you can be born again but the reality of the implication of that life may not find expression that's why the bible says it is by grace available by grace but accessible through faith listen carefully available by grace but accessible through faith and the word faith there does not just mean believing the faith there is a summation of every partnership that you have to go through in satisfying the condition to release that so grace provides it faith hallmarked by your obedience releases it this is the equation of the believers work if it's not available by grace it cannot be accessible so when we partner with the word of god we are not ignoring the grace of god we are receiving it our obedience is a token of our reception it is available by grace but received through faith so when i type it is not the law i know that my prosperity and open heavens has been available by grace but my obedience is a proof that i'm interested in seeing it work in my life god cannot assume you are interested you he gave you a will and your obedience is partnering with your will so working out your salvation is not the law it's called partnership it's called koinonia it is the token of your expression it is the token of your interest to god that you want to see everything in him find expression in you zoe the life of god received by many experienced by few received by many experienced by few there are many possibilities that are enshrined in that life number one the bible tells us it's an indestructible life maybe let me finish what i started saying before we discuss a bit i was talking about certain pillars are we together the fellowship of the mystery that comes through partnership with the holy spirit number four the reality of righteousness righteousness Kenyon defines righteousness as the ability to stand before the presence of the father without a sense of inferiority condemnation and guilt um i i agree with that except for the fact that righteousness is another name given to the nature of god the very nature of god at work in a human is called righteousness not just an ability to stand that is the effect of righteousness it's not righteousness the effect of righteousness is that the possessor can now stand blameless but that's not necessarily the definition are we together now 
righteousness the nature of God at work in me the authorization to be able to access his spirit righteousness number three number what number five is that in Christ and Christ alone is dominion a possibility in Christ and Christ alone is dominion a possibility please understand this this dominion thing people chorus around as if they don't need God without God dominion is a mirage dominion means exercising sovereign power over situations over circumstances and over the forces of darkness write it down dominion the ability to exercise sovereign power sovereign authority over situations over circumstances and over the forces of darkness is only a possibility in Christ Every other thing outside Christ is negotiation and pacifism, not dominion. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If a herbalist tells you he's trying to drive a demon, it's not dominion. Through the mysteries of the kingdom, he will pacify the spirit. It's called occultic pacifism. That's why the demon can be angry again and say the sacrifice is over. So you have to renew it. But dominion is exerting sovereign control anytime any day and remaining there not renewed by anything listen there is no sacrifice in the village that is done once and for all are you hearing what i'm saying everybody come on this is africa talk to me africa there is no sacrifice that is done once and for all whether you are aware or not somebody goes somewhere smuggles himself into a shrine and renews it can be per annum, can be per two years, or can be per when the gods are angry. When they start manifesting, the priest will now say the gods have not eaten and you are eating. So people begin to die. And what happens? They slaughter a child or an animal and pacify. That's not dominion. That's negotiation. That's not dominion. Bishop Oyedeko calls it a far above mentality. That's dominion. Where you are in a class that potentially speaking, you don't have any reason to relate with the vicissitudes here. And if at any point it comes, listen, let me tell you something about eternal life. Eternal life, listen carefully, eternal life is not a life void of challenges, but it's a life assured of complete victory. Now, thanks be to God who always always not sometimes now thanks be to god who always causes us to triumph the next time you say that you have the life of god don't think you are saying you have a designer watch a designer shirt no you are god alone from before time began you are on your throne you are God alone and right now through the good times and bad you are on your throne you are God alone listen if I give you a millionaire's ATM and I say look for some reason for just trusting me I reward that trust by giving you an ATM potentially speaking has more money than you will need in your life this is recession so an example with money is a very fruitful one it will help people understand are we together he gives you an eight year are we together now but for some reason you have to be trained to know that that eight year is a fact that there's money inside it's a fact that potentially speaking you have access now you may move around with your friend that you used to eat with before it does not stop that the fact that you are a current possessor of that atm experiencing the possibilities someone must be introduced to your life or a document must be introduced that is a map that guides you and says stand before a machine the name is atm and you slot it and you are patient the dynamics of the operation this is where knowledge and understanding comes. And you can hold that ATM forever. 
and stand and swallow saliva in front of a shop that the ATM can buy the whole shop. Are we together now? Now you are crying to the one who gave you the ATM and he's saying, I have made available. So out of his love, giving you the ATM is enough, but he sent someone to come and guide you. But that person is so gentle, it will take your cooperation. So he says, look, we created this ATM. It's not like they gave us. We understand how this thing works. And you say, no, 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 no. I went to school. Just hold on. When I am difficult, this is what many people do. So you hold this ATM for years. And Satan comes around and tells you this thing is only a small card. And he says, it's a small card. Put it in your pocket. And you put it in your pocket and move around. This is what makes Christ look weak in the life of men. This is what makes the word of God look like it is of non effect. So in spite of the fact that this reality is a fact, knowledge of the systems of God, the provisions that have been made in place, everything we do in the kingdom is not adding to what Christ has done. It's accessing through partnership the mysteries of the kingdom that releases those possibilities. So that after five years of working with God, my life should be able to reflect more of God now than it did five years ago. Not just in terms of finances and all of that. In terms of ascendance in the spirit. I should not fear five years later what I was afraid of five years before. I should not be a victim five years later of what I was a victim of before. No. I prayed for a gentleman here. I believe he's here. He was in the school of ministry. He had a dream. And somebody appeared to him in the dream, punched his hand, and he woke up physically with a punch with blood. Many years before, would look at it and say, Hi, this is a serious issue. And go and shout like fools around. But when I saw it, I said, I want to touch it. Zoe. Zoe. This is not the issue of prayer. There is an implication to the life I hold. Let my the life of God make contact with that infirmity. Zoe. God's life possessors of divine possibilities i want you to take away take your eyes away from your challenge if you want to believe this because that's what satan will use to mock you you are a possessor of that life why are you barren five years don't mock yourself and then you say it's true uh -uh. there is still a provision because to make sure that you release this life he still gave unto some apostles and prophets look at all the provisions he put in place he gave you his life gave you his spirit gave you his word sent gifts in the body so that we are not without excuse if you fail you neglected the systems of god you neglected his life so you go to hell you neglected his word so there is no growth you neglect his spirit no direction you neglect the gifts so no lifting anyone that fails in life listen to me it's not God he neglected the systems the life of God the spirit of God the word of God the gifts that he has sent just like there are people here looking at me who have never been interested in the life of God the life of God is the most superior reflection of his love and benevolence. More than giving you a pastor. More than giving you a prophet and apostle. More than giving you the Bible. More than giving you a whatever it is. You have to receive them in that order. You don't receive his life. Even if you receive his prophets, you will not maximize your stay. The prophets can only assist as guided by God. They cannot impart life. A man of God can impart every other thing aside from eternal life. I can impart healing. I can impart an anointing. I can prophesy to you and your life will change. But I cannot say be born again. I can even stand before God to declare your sins forgiven. Right? In terms of the limitations that stand between you. But that is only a possibility in Christ. Please, I want you to believe this. This issue of being born again is not a choice. It's not a choice. People buy phones now. Their phones get missing and they cry for days. Because owning a phone now is almost not a choice. Let's institutionalize salvation. 
let's make it part of the fabric of growth to make it look like you don't say okay if you want to you want to you better come out whether you know it or not you want to are we together eternal life what you believe about jesus is important you must believe that he came from heaven if you believe he came from israel you are not saved you are not a child of god there is a footballer called jesus he cannot save men he can play football but he cannot save men please let's clarify this loose ends quickly before we continue there are things you have to believe jesus himself said in john chapter 6 i am the bread that came from heaven he told us his location that he came from heaven you must believe that he came from heaven number two you must believe in his incarnation his incarnation is the mystery that made the world flesh the womb of the woman is that mystery the mystery that made the world the eternal word that was with god john 1 verse 1 become flesh many christians don't know this you must believe in the incarnation not reincarnation incarnation if you believe in the reincarnation of jesus christ you are an antichrist incarnation incarnation the word became flesh number three you must believe in his humanity he didn't just come and die and went away he walked upon the earth partook of the weaknesses of men there is jesus the man he walked upon the earth the bible says he was in every way like us tempted yet without sin if you don't believe in the humanity of jesus christ you will shortchange yourself from walking in the fullness of the life of god you must believe in the dominion he exerted by means of the presence of the holy spirit in his life not by means of being jesus the son of god when he came upon the earth he stripped himself of his godship and submitted himself as a model to the ministry of the holy spirit so every result gotten in jesus life was not because he was jesus it was because he was under the influence of the spirit so that we are not without excuse the same spirit that made jesus the christ is the same spirit that will make jakes the christ is the same spirit that will make Ejimi the christ is the same spirit that will make joshua selma the christ believe in the humanity of jesus he demonstrated the sovereign power of god flawlessly above creation above principalities and powers he demonstrated to us in his earthly life that zoe is a possibility are we together you must believe in the passion of the christ theologically speaking the entire event that took place beginning from the upper room the communion where they received the holy spirit was where they had the communion are we together down to the experience in gethsemane down to pontius pilate and herod who used jesus as a scapegoat to become friends they were enemies but jesus look how powerful jesus was even before he died he reconciled enemies then you must believe in every activity the mystery of the whip for by his stripes we are healed the mystery of the crown of thorns that was put upon his head an exchange for our dominion restored you must believe in the mockery that he received you must believe in the fact that he was on his way to Golgotha the place of skull as an exchange for us Jesus did not die on the road he was hung on a tree it was necessary that he had to be crucified if Jesus died and it was not by crucifixion he would not be able to take the sins of the world there are conditions to be able to take the sins of the world number one you must become flesh number two your blood must be sinless number three you must enact a mystery that transfers the sin of men to you and that mystery is called the communion the communion is not what christians take in church the communion is a sacrament there's a theological name for it. It's called the doctrine of interpenetration. The mystery with which two people become one is what is used in marriage. Two separate entities by covenant 
still different personalities but one in the spirit and that is enacted through the communion john chapter 6 are you getting blessed tonight john chapter 6 let's read help us media let's read verse 35 okay just for time's sake let's run to 53 just four verses 53 to 57 john chapter 6 53 jesus is speaking now then jesus said unto them verily verily i say unto you he's introducing them to the mystery that will make the sins of the whole world come into him you have to understand it's not just that he died for us we died in him so you need to find out how we entered him because galatians 2 20 says i am or i have been crucified with christ not just that he was crucified for me are we together jesus died for me that's an act of love i died with him that's identification there are two different things it's not just enough to believe he did it for you you must believe that you did it in him that's why we are seated with him but we must trace where the journey started verily verily i say unto you except ye eat of my flesh listen carefully ye eat of the flesh of the son of man and drink of his blood what will happen to you ye have no life you are living physically but you are not a possessor of my life now to eat the flesh and to drink the blood is a mystery there is a prophetic act called communion a physical prophetic act but it's a language remember hosea chapter 10 right hosea chapter 12 i have spoken to you by the prophets i have used similitudes similitudes it's in the character of god to use similitudes what we call prophetic act a foreshadow an um, adumbration of something physical like he told moses to leave the rod and that rod is christ so it's in the character of god that's what i mean by the universality of his character is consistent both pre-old old new testament post new <laughs> hallelujah 54 who so eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath zoe there is and i will raise him up at the last day 55 for my flesh is meat indeed now this sounds like occultism so you have to understand my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed 56 he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth aha he's now switching the parable for you to understand that he's not necessarily talking of physically eating he's talking about a condition of intimacy that can be likened to eating and drinking prophetically adumbrated by a physical activity to eat the blood the body and blood of jesus is not just to eat things no it is a dimension of intimacy that begins by accepting and receiving him so he says dwelleth in me and i in him eating and drinking is an adumbration of a system that gets you into christ and gets christ into you last verse as the living father had sent me now listen and i live by the father do you know what that means that means i ate and drank of the father so i now live in the father that same system that made me to live by the father it says so that he eated me shall also live by me listen are we you're intelligent now jesus is saying the father gave me his life and he called how he got that life eating and drinking and he said the same way i ate of the father's life that means i ate of his flesh i drank of his blood to have his life so also that means we must understand how did jesus receive the way number one he was born of the spirit of the father understand this he was born of the spirit of the father number two he was empowered by the spirit of the father 
Number three, he walked in obedience to the spirit of the father. These three conditions translated to him eating and drinking. He released the reality of the fullness of the life of God. Everybody look at me. Communion is more than bread and wine. If your experience at communion stops at just eating bread and drinking wine, you are carrying out a religious activity that is powerless. The eating and the drinking only becomes powerful on the strength of your understanding. It is your understanding that releases the life. Are we together? That means, hi, hallelujah. Every day of my life, I can be eating the communion. When I do the, I eat the communion, certain things happen. Many of them, we are going to look at it. The Bible says that we testify and we declare of the Lord's death. How do we declare of his death? We died with him, we are alive. That means my being alive is a testament that he is alive. When you understand all of these facets of this communion, then you will find out you can release the possibilities that come with it. Healing, breakthrough, an invocation of the mystery of mercy. I can spend all night talking about the mercy of God. The mercy of God is a mystery that starts with sinners, but is needed in the kingdom. Otherwise, we will not attain that height. Mercy is a mystery in God that vetoes judgment in your life. It has nothing to do with whether the judgment is legitimate or not. The moment your life is in a situation where on legal basis, the devil should prevail over you. What you need is the application of the mystery of his mercy. Are we together? Remember when David took a man's wife. Are we together now? David was a man who loved God. He took a man's wife, killed the man, and when he had a man's wife, a particular prophet came. His pastor came and gave a parable. He started with a parable and gave a parable, a parable that reflected that a man bullied a man and took something. And David said, who is that man? And he said, you are the man. You are the man. Do you know what happened? The Bible says immediately David repented and sought for mercy. And I think it was Abner, his prophet. He said, ah, the Lord has shown you mercy and you will not die. Meaning the price for that thing was death. If David did not invoke the mercy like Saul, he would die too. So David did not become an heir to the throne and then a predecessor of Jesus because of perfection. The difference between him and Saul was mercy. There was nothing Saul did that David did not do. The difference was mercy. Mercy is only available in Christ. Mercy is a mystery that Satan cannot give. Mercy is a mystery that pastors, they can pardon, but they can't show mercy. We interchange the words. Mercy is a mystery. Mercy is not to be excused. Mercy is that they pay for you. So you enjoy the freedom, but at the expense of someone else's. There are few men who can show mercy. They can pardon you. But mercy does not take away the price. It only exempts you. Hallelujah. Tenants of the Christian faith unshakable foundations that will make a man remain in Christ doctrine will rise and fall denomination will rise and fall technology will introduce sex and rise and fall but after many years you will still be standing let me tell you if you ever fall in your Christian race it's not because Satan prevailed over you it's because your foundation was shaking when you don't know what you believe that make up your conviction the day you meet with somebody who is an intelligent professor who studied Scientology, he will sit with you and use quantum physics to wash away your intelligence and make you look at Jesus and say, I never knew you were, you were um, Buddha's mate. It's just that you came ahead of him. Every religion acknowledges Jesus, but what you acknowledge him as makes the difference. 
you acknowledge Jesus Christ as a carpenter's son it is true but you are still going to hell are we together now yes I believe in him and this is what I believe about him this is what the devil when he comes to your life he probes the dimensions of your convictions satan is not a fool he doesn't come to attack men when he came to jesus he started throwing questions the questions were testing how far and he found out ah every dimension there was a word basis that word did not come by mistake he went to the temple from age 12 he had been learning he had been building when satan comes to your life he will begin to throw issues around your life to find what dimension of spiritual reality has not become spirit and life to you. That becomes his access point to your life. Satan cometh to me. So he will come to everybody, but he did not find. Meaning there is a possibility that he can find. Listen, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. You need to sustain an orientation in the spirit that defies every assault of darkness for instance the bible says while we look not at the things that are unseen but the things that are seen so if the devil wants to manipulate your senses to make you look like if you are truly in christ don't mind this stupid joshua selman and what he's saying if he's really in christ why is a and b and c happening the happening in your life does not change the fact that his life is in you Our eternal destinies are determined by the, whether or not we are possessors of that life. But the qualities of our lives on earth are dependent on the extent of our partnership through faith with the Holy Spirit in order to release those lives. So if I look at a man's life and his life demonstrates a dimension of spiritual possibility that is not in my life, aside from other factors like the election of grace and other things, it must mean therefore that there is a dimension of partnership he has sustained with the Holy Spirit that I've not been able to come into it. That's why a family can have five people. Their father can be a pastor, but the extent of their results will differ. Are we together now? Listen, when Jesus walked upon the earth, he was very specific with his actions. He intended for certain things to be understood about his work on earth. That's why he had to reveal himself to Paul to document these mysteries. Although the disciples saw him, when he resurrected, he still was with them 40 days and then left them 10 days in the upper room to receive the Holy Spirit. But even in the midst of that, he still had to anoint a man, Paul of Tarsus, Saul, who later became Paul, to be able to articulate the mysteries Paul calls it the fellowship of the mystery. The fellowship of the mystery. The Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians 1, 2, 3 that we are alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Alienated from the life. Are we together now? Not experientially walking in the fullness of that life. Listen, tonight as we prepare to receive the communion, I want you to come to terms with certain things. Number one, you must have the brokenness and the unashamedness to admit that if there is anything in your life that is yet to reflect the fullness of Christ, it is not because of a limitation posed by God. It is that there is a dimension of partnership with the Holy Spirit. Are we together? That has not yet begun or has not yet come to fruition for you to experience that dimension. You are only authorized to receive results if you can maintain that posture. That my life and your life today is not a reflection of who God is, but a reflection of how far we have chosen to walk with Him. It's an uncomfortable truth, but victory starts from that standpoint. Either He lied or there's something wrong on our own part. Are we together? So if there are witches appearing every night, destroying your life, you sleep and somebody appears. Now listen, let me balance something. To deny the existence of that possibility 
is another dimension of foolishness this is what sometimes we preachers do we say it does not exist no it exists you can only be exempted you can't stop it satan still has authority over the systems he's still the prince of the power of air he's called a prince the spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience for a season he's still allowed what happened is that god created a mystery that exempts you Horses are real, they are still at work. Yokes are real, they are still at work. They will still attempt you. And until your knowledge bails you out, knowledge of what? The systems of the kingdom. Bails you out, you will still be a victim of them. So when you come to me as a man of God and say, sir, somebody came in the night and slept with me, I said, that's nonsense. No, you are not being accurate. You may have ascended a level of understanding that exempts you from that experience but to deny the existence of that thing is a joke what i can do is i can introduce to you what christ gave to conquer it hallelujah you have won the victory lift your voice and sing unto him hallelujah you You're seated in majesty. Seated in majesty. You are the reason, King. You are the reason, King. Hallelujah. My life and my experiences are too small to limit everything God said about Zoe. If I live my life today dying of sickness, dying of failure, my life cannot be a model enough to say this is all that is contained in God. And I must have the unashamedness to admit that my limitations are not caused by the inability of God to produce that result. It's been encapsulated in the way. It should be a challenge for me that there is a dimension of understanding through the ministry of the word, the ministry of the spirit and the ministry of his body. We are members of his body, not just his spirit. We are part of the body and the body as an entity holds possibilities. So I can love Jesus Christ, but I may not have been taught that part of his system is the introduction of apostles and prophets that can speak over your life. That can make me walk barren of the possibilities of God. But when I study through the word that there is a provision made like that, then I can align myself to that provision and now begin to walk in a new reality. Tonight is a night of brutal admittance. We have to come to a point where we admit that, listen, my father has not gotten a job for 20 years. My mother has not gotten a job for 20 years. It is not because God cannot release jobs. It is because there may be a dimension. Either they have refused to receive his life, partner with the spirit, understand his word, or discern his body. These are the causes. These are the things that are responsible for the limitations of people. So what we are doing tonight is not why you will be healed. What you are understanding now is why you will be healed. This understanding is what gives life to the wafers. The person who made the wine you are about to drink may be somewhere. You bought the wine. He was doing business. The person who made the wafers you are about to eat, he may even be an unbeliever. He just had that Christians eat this thing often. And he said, this is a stream of income and produced it. So you are eating somebody's value. You are not eating power. It is your understanding that translates that mystery. Like water turned to wine. Between the water and the wine was a word. When a word came, it turned the water to wine. It is that word, that understanding that will turn bread to his body. And the drink to his blood. Color does not matter. Whether the color is green or blue. It's only red to affect your psychology. Even if this is what you take it is your understanding 
in the kingdom power is released through understanding not just motion you tithe it is not the money that brings the power is the understanding that gives life to the activity that's why jesus said this is how you will build and the gates of hell will not prevail upon this rock the rock is not peter the rock is a system upon this formula you will build never speak outside of understanding so the system is that you first understand then you act when you act out of understanding you are building upon a rock when you act void of understanding you are building upon sand the sons of skiva showed us a graphic example of that they spoke but there was no understanding and he said jesus i know he built upon a rock paul i know he built upon a rock but you are just speaking that means you come and eat because you heard that bishop oyedeko blessed communion and people took it and all of a sudden people were vomiting animals and then you take it and as soon as you take it as you are getting home the same spirit comes again because it's not the ritual the understanding is where the power lies so paul i repeat ephesians 1 for this cause it's not enough that you have received the way for this cause i have to go the extra mile to bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you that the holy spirit may reveal himself unto you as the spirit of wisdom and understanding so that you will know epignosis come into an understanding not awareness come into an experience where you and the information has become one when you understand this then you take that step and you find out that life is now released some of you because of this you will not even be able to hold the communion cup because you are now holding it now with understanding the demon that oppresses you has seen the light understanding gives life to the symbol remember the entrance of thy word give it light and understanding when that light comes that's what releases the power ordinarily you would have carried it and eaten and said can i take another one you see why paul rebuked the church in corinth they were not discerning the lord's body a time came when many of them started using the communion for alcoholism because they did not have a system of preserving this thing so they looked forward to communion services communion will always remain and then they didn't just take a little this thing this is just for social reasons and then to guide people financially but then you could have a big cup and fetch so there were people who would fetch and go and hide somewhere they didn't believe in jesus and they would drink and paul found out they were getting tipsy in the middle of an outpouring and paul said no you people should come we need bible study something is wrong you guys if you are hungry that's what paul said if you are hungry do what go and eat in your house don't come to the lord's house and violate his temple by eating he said for this cause this is it for not discerning for acting foolishly out of understanding many are weak many are sick many do sleep when was the last time you saw written in the grave of a man that he died because he didn't discern the lord's body they say he died of cardiac failure for this cause so if i want to improve my life it's not all up to god the way is at work it's been available by grace but my partnership i must check the systems i'm ignoring i am ignoring the life of god like some of you are doing looking at me now not born again when you see people talk about get born again, say, forget about them jerry they are just hopeless people after all so, so, so sociology said religion is the opium of the masses that guy may probably be in hell now be careful are we together now hmm don't 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 listen to junks you can write it and pass your exams but when it comes to your eternal destiny you must be serious you have rejected his life or you have rejected the ministry of his spirit you have rejected the ministry of his word you have rejected the ministry of his body these are the provisions made i want to ask you a question tonight which one have you rejected you can easily know it by looking at your life you have insulted every man of god you know by saying look forget it i insult every man of god we can all go to christ you have accepted christ 
you may have accepted his word but you have rejected his body there is a consequence a bitter one they are taken for a prey and none say it restore the bible tells us that there is a system with which god built his ecclesia the church he said christ is the chief cornerstone immediately you meet christ he introduced two ministries called the apostles and the prophets they are the foundations of the church if you do not meet them your building cannot grow the cornerstone is there you ignore them you build nonsense it's a system it's an election of grace which one have you ignored some of you have ignored have supposedly admitted the ministry of the holy spirit you like power you don't doubt even if somebody jumps up and hangs in the air you like it but you have ignored the ministry of the word thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path that illumination that comes through his word you have pay attention to what i'm teaching tonight you have ignored that boundary of revelation and you will find out that there will be a lot of charismatism around your life and you will know which one is witchcraft and which one is of god because there is no compass there is no the word of god is like a buffer solution it defines the dimensions of the operations of the holy spirit so when you are going out of it the word of god guides you and says no every manifestation must be consistent with the character of god there are people who have embraced supposedly the ministry of the word the bible calls them men who have come around the baptism of john and ignored the ministry of the holy spirit acts 19 remember have you received the holy ghost since he believed verse 1 and verse 2 they says we have not even heard whether there be any holy ghost and paul was surprised they were believers disciples going through bible study he said unto what then were you baptized they said the baptism of john and paul said no the baptism of john was a baptism of repentance to the end that they should believe on he that should come even jesus christ and when they had it the bible says they were baptized in the name of the lord and paul laying his hands on them they now received the ministry of the spirit of god right they prayed in tongues and prophesied the bible says there were about 12 of them acts chapter 19 1 to 5 thank you very much so it is possible to believe the bible just because you inherited it from your pastor but not walk with the spirit jesus died to make all these systems available his life in us exclusively given through the office of the christ but released by the interaction of that believer with the spirit of god the word of god the body we teach a lot about the word of god we teach a lot about the spirit of god but we ignore his body christ is the head he's not a head moving around that head has a body and he acknowledges that the body is part of himself and then in another mystery he calls that body his wife you don't ignore a man's wife and leave, and then he will laugh with you the bible said jealousy is the rage of a man so as you insult his wife simply because the wife is wounded are we together if a jimmy's wife has an injury and you say because of that she's no longer a woman a jimmy will stand close to her first before he will give you a slap you say by this little act let me prove to you that when i said i do i meant it i also said i mean it so the man of god may not be perfect but he's still part of the system when you criticize him you are criticizing somebody's wife and that man will react are you hearing what i'm saying for this cause i've taught it here go and get the teaching on the body of christ i told you the mystery of receiving from the body of christ was adumbrated in the parable of samson samson went to the philistines and he gave them a riddle he said out of something weak came something strong and they could not decipher the parable he killed a lion and then bees did not know where to go and put honey they went to a carcass and put honey there meaning if you must enjoy the honey you can endure the smell so you come to a man of god who is temperous but look beyond the temper there is an anointing there is always honey in the midst of the carcass this is the mystery of discerning the body you have to ignore the limitations that are in people so if the pastor does not look like you 
you may see him a yopi person and babs as if he's, he's some of these touts around these these vegas guys he may be that may not be the best but the truth of the matter is that he may be anointed the woman may dress and she may be careless you know like i was teaching a school of ministry students yesterday and i told them i went for a program and there was a woman of god who was introducing something and kai i'm not somebody who talks about dressing but mm -mm, even till today it's too much it's, it's not it's not she didn't leave anything to the imagination very bad for a congregation very bad for a congregation i say it again very bad for a congregation anyway it happened but the fact remains that the woman was very anointed can you endure the smell because the honey is there it's a mystery how the bees endure the smell to pitch it there there is this treasure let me give you the new testament translation that treasure is hidden in the bible didn't say in vessels in earthen vessels so you may not like me as a person but why don't you look beyond the limitation and see that there is a treasure that's why there is no church that cannot bless me if you search for jesus you will find him i've ministered in all kinds of places i remember when we were coming back from ekiti when we met some of the the the, the men of god that prayed for us pastor jake they could not speak yoruba that's enough to annoy me say what is all this i'm the one who needs the miracle i need long life that baba cannot speak english but is walking in an experience of a reality what do you think we did we looked for an interpreter there has to be an interpreter we found an interpreter who came and the man said we should kneel down now i have received jesus christ i am working in partnership with his spirit i have received of the word but i discerned his body i would have said i'm a man of god i i was going for a crusade it was a powerful crusade mighty miracles and on the way we stopped and the man didn't even say you are pastors say kneel down first. really that's what he said and in yoruba he was just praying i didn't hear one thing he said but all i know is that that man was long he was living long enough for me to cover that grace which part of god's systems have you ignored please hear this message tonight is the answer to the prayer that demon that has oppressed you you have quoted scripture that's very good it's true that you are working with the holy spirit but your knowledge is limited but there is still out of his benevolence he has kept an anointing with a vessel one word go will set you free of 10 years of limitations but we will refuse and say look i know jesus christ by myself so you limit god's possibilities to only the revelation that the holy spirit and the word is permitted through your willingness and sometimes your lifetime may not afford you the dimension of revelation it takes for the result you need so you must tap into every channel that's what he meant when he told nicodemus you must be born of the water and the spirit otherwise you cannot enter you can see it but you will not enter seeing the kingdom is that it has come to you but entering it is becoming a testament of the reality so you can now say since i was young now i am old i have never seen the righteous forsaken no that thing was not a poem to be recited by everyone it was a man's testimony based on a dimension of possibility you have to make it yours before you speak otherwise you will keep mocking yourself this is what these unguided confessions that are not out of understanding will keep mocking us if ye are abraham's children you will do the works of abraham what was his work he believed god god told him something god said abraham i want to introduce a dimension to you i have not done to anybody and abraham believed god tonight is easter all over the world there are cathedrals there are ministries there are crusades packed full with the over two billion christians on earth attempting men of god there are tapes rolling all over churches right now every man of god attempting sincerely to reveal something that the people can take back about easter i brought to you a reality the bible says this is the record it was documented 
God has given us eternal life. But this life is in his son. And whosoever has the son has that life. But grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge. According as his divine power hath, not will, hath is a fact. Giving us. Giving us. Giving us. Every limitation in my life and your life is a revelation of something about the systems of God we have ignored or are still learning and have not come into that fullness. When you know that you put an urgency to your pursuit for God. For the more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus. More of you. For the more I see your face, the more I want to see you, Jesus. Shortly we are going to take the communion. Please those relevant people, let's station them. There are three mysteries that the Lord revealed to me that will be open to us tonight as we partake of the communion. Three. Number one, the communion tonight is an encounter with the spirit of revelation. We need revelation in our lives. We need revelations in our lives. Brothers and sisters, please hear me. We need revelation in our lives. The limitation of my life and your life is not dependent on Satan. It's dependent on how far I can access the dimensions of the possibilities that the life of God can provide based on the knowledge that I have. His life only gives you potentials. Your partnership accurate partnership makes it an experience tonight as you partake of this let something boil in you that all men are equal in Christ but they are not equal in possibilities our possibilities are determined by the truths we have chosen to receive and the dimensions of the systems of the kingdom we have comprehended and so we must press Hear what Paul says. He says, this one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind, I press. There is something I need to know about death to stop being afraid of it. There is something I need to know about poverty. There is something I need to know about restoration. There is something I need to know about fruitfulness. The love of God is revealed. When we study his systems, the Bible says the invisible things of God, right? The invisible things are seen, they are learned, they are taught by the things that appear. So I look at and say, what, what kind of a man is this that grants me access to his life, sends his spirit to me, causes men moved by the same spirit to document more information? The apostles did not have a Bible. All they had was the Torah right the Pentateuch the five books of Moses but now God has gone the extra mile for our generation because he knows evil and wickedness will increase and he has left a document to still help us and then in addition to that he has empowered men and women in the body so that we are not without excuse and what a joy the Lord has spoken to us this year that is our year of triumph that means we can walk with these systems of the kingdom and rise. When I was studying, I was just studying the passion of the Christ tonight and I was so touched looking at everything Jesus went through. Just for me. Just for me. Jesus came and did it just for me. Just for me, just for me, Jesus came and did it just for me. That's what he did tonight. Well, the cross will always represent 
the love God had for me when the Lord of glory heaven sent gave all on Calvary just for me he just for me Jesus came and did So what is the implication of tonight? I remember. I remember his sacrifice. While he was on the way to Golgotha. The Bible says. That there were certain things in the mind of God. And Paul was given access to those things. They were encapsulated in a document. And Paul calls it a testament. And then Hebrews chapter 9. Paul is speaking. Pastor Alpha read it there. Jesus knew that those things would be activated only at his death. So they were prepared. And when he died, there was still ignorance. And he started moving through holy men to document these things. To say, now you have access. I have died. For every will is not yet activated until the death of the testator. Jesus died. If he did not die, eternal life will not be a reality. He hung on that cross between two thieves a 33 and a half year old man naked there was no covering no he was naked and he looked at the world that he came to die for and the people yelled crucify him let his blood be on our children they were prophesying something that would really happen because his blood had to be on their children for them to be saved what was a statement of war was a prophecy let his blood be upon our children they didn't know that was why he was on the cross they mocked him let me tell you something jesus did not go to the cross as jesus he went to the cross as me and you when he stood there he saw me he saw joshua selman he saw koinonia remember acts chapter 2 they were caught in their heart and they said men and brethren what do we do he said repent for the remission of your sins and you shall receive that promise for the promise is unto you and unto your children and to your children's children he says as many as are afar off which the lord will call this is where we came in in acts chapter 10 reading from verse 38 down to 44 the bible says the moment the holy ghost fell on all they that had him day of the circumcision the jews said ah i perceive truly we now see that god is no respecter of persons but that in every nation whoever calls upon his name will be saved tonight we are taking the communion number one access to the spirit of revelation according to ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 i bow my knees and i pray for you O church of the lord jesus christ that i desire you to release the reality of zoe that life that is indestructible that life that is far above principalities and powers the life that is capable of demonstrating dominion here and now the life that is characterized by victory the life of meaning the life of fulfillment the life of purpose but it's access through knowledge the spirit of revelation number two the second thing that the communion will release to us tonight is reenacting that covenant of life through that prophetic act that we are going to be doing the bible says he that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life do you know what that means there are many things at work in your life now that were not sponsored by that eternal life watch this my body as designed by God is supposed to grow through a system there should be a symmetry and a synergy correct if a boil starts coming out from here that boil is growing not at the same pace with my body now biologically they can say something is responsible but spiritually we know that another life is responsible so the result of that another life I see it different from my body so what you do is by the mystery of the communion you are taking it to your physical body physical flesh and blood it's a mystery 
that reminds the devil that every part of you was handed over to Christ that means whatever is not a derivative of the life of God put it scripturally every tree that was not planted by my father meaning there are other farmers are we together there are other what farmers for instance while men slept an enemy he's a farmer the bible says he came and sowed he's a farmer and left whether that sleep is a spiritual sleep psychological sleep as a result of the weight of the vicissitudes of life fatigue several things happening in your life and you did not know and it weighed you down or as a result of real physical sleep the activities of darkness listen as you take this i want you to discern the lord's body don't just to discern the lost body is not to eat slowly to discern the lost body is to take it with understanding it's not that you close your eyes you take it slowly no 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 that is religion to discern the lord's body is that as you are taking this truly speaking this is wafers this is wine but the, my understanding authorizes the holy spirit to form an eclipse between that that activity that dinner thing and me and as i lift it is the same thing as the servants who were carrying water while they lifted it the distance between his word and your mouth causes a miracle to happen this is what will make somebody hold it and just the distance from the table to your mouth you can't stand it and anointing responding to your understanding that's why somebody can take the communion and all of a sudden you feel you just took something small that before it got to your stomach a lot of itself was hanging around different parts of your body but all of a sudden you take it and you are already feeling fire on your leg did that thing get to your leg it's a mystery you only gave him space tonight can your communion be a body that you have prepared for him we have prepared a body remember a body has thou prepared without a body he cannot move so the communion just like the human body can become the body tonight that communion can be the hand that heals you tonight that communion can be the mystery that destroys the devourer for your non tithing and God can say I give you a clean slate start again tonight that communion can be a reversal of several things if you take it with understanding are we together so we are going to pray but before we pray overflow one overflow two by the road those online from any nation and any place you are listening to the first key is to receive the life of God Zoe the life of God is not Christianity Christianity was a description given to possessors of that life God is not initiating you into a religion he says come on to me listen there are people seated here looking at me inside and outside you are tired and you're saying apostle as I stand right now sincerely I don't even know what my life is about I have tried like the worship team sang I've done everything but tonight I am in all humility lifting my heart and my hands and saying I need that life my father refused to receive the life my mother refused to receive the life my brothers and sisters refused to receive the life I choose to receive that life and there are yet others who may say at one point I came for an altar call but sincerely I don't know the name of what I did I only know that they said congratulations and they gave me hamper I ate what was inside but nothing entered me and this night I want to eat of my the bread he said my bread is my body is meat indeed for in the sanctuary Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried. For in the sanctuary, God is here. Wherever you are, 
just wait till I start counting before you come I'm going to count one to five because of time there are people here who are saying apostle as I sat listening to you I knew that I had to be sincere with myself and I knew that I have to win this war my life does not reflect Zoe in any way number one I have not even received it every time I hear preachers talk like Saul of Tarsus I mock them and I say they are wasting my time but tonight I want to win that war and number two there are others who said well I know that I came and confessed something for a while I was even walking with God but sincerely I know between me and God right now that I'm not serious with him and I don't want any pretense again wherever you are the Holy Spirit is already speaking to you overflow one two wherever you are I want you to make your way here I would have asked you to go to the overflow outside but there is a reason why I want all of you here so as I count one to five there are people there I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain leave your seat and come out here right now if you are ashamed of your friend you are ashamed of your brother you are ashamed of your sister then you are wasting the mystery of Easter start coming one God bless you leave your seat and come don't be ashamed clap for them koinonia appreciate them as they come God bless you keep coming that flows from help me see Emmanuel's faith keep coming Lose all their guilty strength. The third mystery that you will receive tonight from the communion is an empowerment for a strange order of dominion. Please don't forget these three things. Don't forget these three things. Number one access to the spirit of revelation number two an exit of everything that was not planted by God there will be mighty mighty miracles and deliverances as you take this number three an empowerment for a strange order of dominion the centurion said for I am a man under authority I say unto one go and he goeth I say unto another come and he cometh speak the word only the bible says where the word of a king is there is power that as you partake of this communion something will come upon you the bible says that when you take it right first corinthians 11 when you take it that you announce you declare the lord's death the meaning of that is that you tell principalities and powers that the person you used to know is not the person now Jesus died and I died in him and now the life that I live I live by the faith of the Son of God another system so way God's life now this is what we are going to do I'm going to give you two prayer points we are going to pray seriously and um, everyone outside you don't have to come there are the first overflow at the projector there is a provision like this the second overflow at the projector there is a provision like this and then in here we did it because of time now this is all you are going to do those here you would come this way just take the cup and the bread drop the cup there and match this way those here you will do the same thing and then I think there will be a provision here at the minister stand so that we don't have chaotic things please some of you will fall under the anointing as you do it just be careful and let's just coordinate them I want to pray and bless this now and then we are going to pray the moment you partake of it you go back and find a corner and begin to blast in tongues and pray these three things in your life that's happy stuff for you you have to pray it with all your heart and say Lord I understand this mystery let my understanding permit the life of God to find expression prayer point number one Lord I believe I believe but in case I do not believe help my own belief lift your voice and pray whatever is not of faith is sin lift your voice and pray pray inside and outside 
pray inside and outside Are you praying? Help my own belief. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. point number two Lord as I partake of this let the mystery of the communion be enacted in me whatever this represents I permit it to work in me lift your voice and pray seriously inside outside those online get bread and get wine or water get something that represents the communion Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please listen. I want to pray for the communion. 1 Corinthians 11 from verse 23. The apostle is speaking and he says, For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, listen, that same night which was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me 25 after the same manner he also took the cup listen are you seeing the order so you take the bread then you take the cup he took bread and said eat then he took the cup and he says this is my blood of the new testament do this as often and then he says 26 for as often as he eats this bread and drink this cup ye do show the lord's death till he comes now he says for this cause verse 30 many are weak for not partaking of this with understanding many are weak many are sick and many among you sleep meaning if i partake of it with understanding among other things it should destroy weakness it should destroy sickness and it should destroy death that's the next prayer point lord weakness sickness and the plague of death any kind of death it leaves my life now lift your voice and pray Lift your voice and pray. Victory. Victory. Over sickness, weakness, death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please agree with me. I want to pray. I tell you, I sense such a strong anointing in this place. I'm praying here at the projector stand everywhere. Those online, regardless of any nation, just go and get something, water, wafers, food, whatever. It's just a token. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. 
Who can stand against our King? No one can. Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ father tonight I stretch my hands prophetically in the name of Jesus Christ upon this communion this is ordinary wine and wafers but Lord we command it to lose its earthly significance now and take on a heavenly significance and Lord I pray using this as a point of contact to every other communion set around the world connected to us now I decree and declare that this becomes a type and a shadow a similitude of the body of Jesus a similitude of the bread the blood of Jesus Christ and Lord I pray that as we partake tonight we access the spirit of revelation as we partake tonight every stranger in our life must go immediately and Lord as we partake tonight fresh fire for dominion and triumph in the name of Jesus therefore Lord we declare this blessed we call it blessed right now i put the word of god upon it and i declare that it will produce miracles in the name of jesus god bless you please start coming start coming quickly worship him help us let's just have some people come and stand open it up and then Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. 
Nada o kaka sunanka O bangi chika isayabo Na kirma ma sunanka O bangi chika
Breakthrough for your family in the name of Jesus. The Lord is changing their stories, the Lord is breaking limits. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. Break, I command those limits be broken, be broken from the realm of the Spirit. Limits be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost, be broken by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. my dear do you have an elder sister where is she no mic again is she married hold on don't worry let me talk to you is she married but there's no peace with her and her husband i'm seeing serious fight is that true there is what is wrong did they tell you the, the husband he married your hands on your chest out of her now out that devil of darkness she thinks the family has a problem this is this is the devil because if we if i don't pray for you this is the same thing i see happening in your home the same thing because uh, it's all right don't worry whatever it is what am i seeing I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a black stone on your chest. Look at me, sister. Let me talk to you. Huh? I'm seeing a black stone. Sometimes when you lie down, it's like you are gasping for air. And you even... Yes, I have uh, this chest pain. Since I... But you, it looks like asthma. But this is not asthma. This is witchcraft. Come. This, I prophesy to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, nothing will escape the anointing of the Spirit. No matter what is wrong with you, no matter what it is, the eye of the Spirit, the eye of the Spirit must bring you out of the pants of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I prophesy to you, no matter how far you are, now the Lord is that Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Sister, Look at me. Lay your hands. You are going to be healed now. Look at me. Lay your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You will feel something coming out right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. These are the hands of Jesus as an ambassador. I bring to you the power of the kingdom I represent. Out of her now. Out. never return to her again never return stand up check her stand up my sister give her the mic breathe in and out check yourself right now breathe in and out breathe in and out look at this come on just breathe in do what you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do look she's even surprised look at this look at this oh it doesn't take time it only takes the power of god it will never return to you listen my dear let me tell you this look at me he will grant you your desire why am i seeing a ring in the spirit huh look at me are you married this is one of your prayer requests here stand up let me pray for you because i'm seeing a ring in the spirit and the lord i had that scripture to appoint unto them in zion to tell them this is the set time i pray for you in the name of the lord jesus christ not only will you get married you will get married to a godly man you will marry a fool in the name of the lord jesus christ you will marry a man of the spirit and you will marry a man of vision 
I speak to you. The Lord visits your entire family tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Musa, look at me. My brother, is your name Musa? Look at me. You are Musa too. Who is Adamu? Adamu. I'm hearing the name Adamu. Adamu. I don't know if he's here or he's still part of the people here. Or not. Do you know anybody called Adamu? Hallelujah. I'm hearing the name Adamu. If there's someone like that, you can come. Hold my hand, sir. Let me pray for you. The Lord wants to bring breakthrough to your life and your family. You love Jesus very well because the Lord wants to do great things in your life huh? but you need to take away distraction and focus on him entirely hallelujah my dear listen to me touch that lady for me look at me lift your hands because I'm hearing your prayer in my ears and you are asking the Lord to visit you. I don't know what is it about your health and even your life. Now in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be a visitation for her. Now! That devil of darkness, you must leave. Because Jesus is Lord. Right now. Never to return again. Lift your hands. I see four ladies with her kind of case. Right now, wherever they are, those four ladies... I see the power of God coming on four ladies. At least four ladies right now. Right now it's coming on four ladies. Four ladies I see in the spirit. Lord in the name of Jesus whoever those ladies are. Right now let the power of God touch them. Let the power of God touch them. Wherever they are. Wherever they are be healed now. Abigail there is an Abigail in this room Abigail the Lord is directing me Abigail who is Abigail there are two Abigails come on two of you are Abigail come and stand Jesus is wonderful Lord I give you praise hold your hands together Oh Lord, will you not open the floodgates for these families? Look at me. God is healing an infirmity from your body right now. Right now. Right now. God is healing an infirmity. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing like firewood being brought together so that the flames upon your life that has died will be reignited. My dear, your relationship with Jesus Christ look at me you love Jesus please you need to be on fire for Jesus Christ there's no one leg in one leg out you understand what I'm saying right does it make sense to you so when I make an altar call run come and stay and flog it out with destiny tonight Jesus loves you hold my hands because he wants to help you Lord Jesus I pray that you will visit this lady in a very great way in the name of Jesus hold my hands Lord, let the healing power of Jesus flow through her body right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. And I'm seeing something that looks like a load being taken off your head. Right now. Be healed. Now! In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why are they here? I hope everyone is here because I call them we're we going to be very fast about it our time is gone I can't remember what did I talk to you yeah? Musa father in the name of Jesus Christ hold my hands truly God is going to use you God is going to use you Lord anoint him and use him for your glory in the name of Jesus Christ your name is Zainab I'm seeing Zainab in front of your head let me talk to you look at me where's your mom she is at home is she fine your mother is not fine. We need to pray for her because I'm seeing them taking her on admission and they are saying she's sick. Huh? 
we have to pray. I'm even seeing them trying to use a knife to perform surgery. But in the name that is above all names. Right now. And you too, abdominal pain. You're being healed of it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your stomach. You will feel like fire going through your stomach right now. Heal. In the name of Jesus. Of the Lord Jesus Christ, God will use you. Okay, hold my hand. You need a change of genotype. What's your genotype? It's why I'm seeing in the spirit. Because the Lord immediately I looked at her, the Lord told me her problem is that her genotype must be changed. If not, they will tell her she will not live very long and die. You are SS. This is sickle cell. Where is she? Who is who are you here with? My brother. Where is he? Brother, come. You need a miracle. Run wherever you are. Brother, where is he? Brother, sir, please run and come. The Lord wants to touch you. Look at me. Do not say it is impossible. Not when Jesus Christ steps in. Oga, you're welcome. Jesus Christ is going to step into your family. You believe that? We have to pray for you. Huh? Do you believe Jesus can change genotypes? You believe? Huh? Because this is a family thing. If God doesn't help you people, you are all humanly speaking or medically speaking in trouble. Ah! But who is there like you? There's no one above you. I need to you to worship you. Lift your hands and sing that song. I lift Both of you hold your hands. Who is there like you? Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lift I lift Hallelujah. Let's cause this thing. You believe that? It will be cost. Mm. Jesus changed their genotypes. Please let them know miracles are real. Your, the power of God is coming upon both of you right now. In the name of Jesus, I command a change, supernatural change of that genotype. We change it in the spirit. Change it. SS turns to AA now. SS turns to AA now. SS turns to AA now. You will go to the hospital, you will confirm it. We call it done. SS turns to AA now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone outside. I know we are going to pray for everyone, but I'm still a woman outside. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I'm seeing a woman outside, someone outside, you're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You are wearing her tie. Her tie. Not like her tie of a cloth, but like, like silk or something like that. Who is that person? Please run and come. Is it green? It's not green. It's many colors, like flowers. Like flowers. I don't know if it's flowers I'm seeing. Please, who is that woman? And then it's like something black. I'm also seeing something black. Is it like a cloth, black or jacket? Come. and check yourself it's over and then the lord is going to use you lift your hands the lord wants to impart an anointing upon you look at me father use this girl for your glory in jesus name from the depths of my heart i release the healing anointing upon you right now 
that anointing will come on you right now. Right now. Never be the same. Go and begin to heal the sick. In the name of Jesus, you will feel fire coming on both of your hands right now. That's the healing power of Jesus Christ touching you. And may you take that healing power to nations. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Both of them, please come. Your hunger for spiritual things will be satisfied tonight. Both of you lift your hands. Jesus, let their lives never be the same. In the name of Jesus, as I lay my hands upon you, I plant a hunger. Ay, 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 ay. Hold your hands together. Hold your hands together. The power of God is moving from these two ladies and it will move across this room. And there is a separation and it's on only ladies. Only ladies. Right now, as I lay my hands on them, it's happening across. Certain ladies, the fire of God will just come upon you. Let it be done now. 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 The vistas of eagles for ladies. Shikai dika. Mande ke pros koto bati kata. Shakata tata bakata banada da da ba. Zoto protos kupande kari adaba. Only ladies, the Holy Spirit told me. Only ladies, bring them out. Yeah 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 yeah. Tata tata para kata po kabanda kapo sta. Deboras. I call you from the realm of the spirit. Deborahs, I call you from the realm of the spirit. I call for Deborahs, Deborah mantles. I call them forth from the realm of the spirit. It's spilling over outside. Outside. I'm seeing a cloud moving outside. Deborahs are catching the fire of the spirit. Lord, we give you praise. That, ma that madam on green, the Lord is going to begin to open your eyes where you are an angel of the lord is standing close to you right now and i see an impartation of the spirit of revelation now take it where you are According to the time of life, return with your baby. Now. Return with your baby. Now. According to the time of life, we put an end to anything. Let my king be lifted up. Oh. Bring that lady. Bring her. For the angels who did not keep their original estate. What are you doing in this body? It's time for you to leave now. Without manifestation, don't waste our time. Out! Hold your peace and leave now. Never to return. And as you go, let there be a restoration of everything. In the name of the Christ of God. You leave now. And let this family experience breakthroughs. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you. It ends. It ends. The captivity of 17 years ends. In the name of Jesus. It ends. Bring her. Jesus, you believe that I am. The Lord will use you. 
but before he uses you that devil of darkness must let you go therefore i speak to you i see you in the spirit there is no hiding you are not of god and i judge you by the authority of the kingdom i represent let her go right now in the name of jesus let her go right now fibroid fibroid i'm seeing fibroid we are going to pray we'll pray for every sick person who has come but let's just flow as the holy ghost can i talk to her madam come you're coming out here for fruit of the womb make sure you are married properly married please we are christians hallelujah fruit of the womb how many years just one year now. this one year yes sir but uh, it's ah, look at what i'm seeing in the spirit but the devil is very wicked I'm looking at this woman and I kept quiet and then the Lord began to show me Steve I saw an angel of the Lord bringing a child right listen to me but then immediately it entered this realm I just saw blood then I saw an angel coming with a child again and when it entered this realm I saw blood how many times have you had Miska? Two times. two times this is what I saw in the spirit that as the angel of the Lord brought a child but in this realm, I saw blood and it was miscarriage. But Jesus is Lord. See, I'm not doing anything. There is absolutely nothing. This is Jesus the Christ. The one who should be exalted. Madam, you believe in the Lord. That's why you are here. According to the time of life, I speak to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will stand before the people of God with your miracle baby. And I see God cleaning your stomach so that they don't tell you there is an infection. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus. It's over right now. Return with your miracle baby in Jesus' name. You too. You're married. Fruit of the womb. What did the doctors tell you? Said there's fibroid. There's fibroid. Because as I was standing, I was hearing fibroid, fibroid. Come and stand. Listen to me. You will go to ease yourself and you will pass out this whole fibroid physically. You will see it coming out. You believe in miracles? Huh? Because the solution is not operation. They will operate you and then it will come back again. This is what I'm seeing. Huh? It's not about operation. There is a name that is above all names. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not negating medicine. Are you getting my point? I'm just ministering in the capacity. Drink of the wine of the spirit. May you never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same not only prayer fire but you are receiving the healing anointing is coming from your spirit the same thing is happening to you both of them please lift your hands there is the healing anointing that will come upon some people right now lift your hands father as many of those people right now right now right now is going to come as fire i see liquid fire in the spirit go ahead and shout jesus once one to go receive it the healing anointing the healing anointing the healing anointing receive it now inside and outside receive it now by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost, someone hold Shade, hold Shade so she doesn't fall. Hold her, but the healing anointing is coming on her. It's, it's, it's more of a scary because it has always been there. It has always been there. Three of you hold your hands. 
can, Kenya, I promise. Hold your hands. Look at me. In the name of Jesus. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Step into new levels. New levels of the anointing. New levels of the power of the Spirit. New dimensions in the Spirit. Hold, please place one hand on your stomach. Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, I believe in you. Let fibroid. Let fibroid. Pass out of my body now. Pass out of my body now. Now watch what happens to you. You prayed it yourself. Fibroid, you are a spirit. Benga, lift your hands. There is an angel standing close to you. Take it now. My dear, touch this lady for me. The Lord has heard your prayer. Come. Come. Please save time. Come. Look at me. What is wrong? Why are you crying? It's okay. Child of Jesus is here. Tonight is a night of divine solutions. Look at me. Lay your hands on your stomach. Let there be a visitation, oh God. Right now. I cause evil. It ends. I appoint it to end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear. You will return with your miracle baby in the name of Jesus Christ. Just hold my hands and look at me. The Lord is touching your stomach. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Be made whole right now in Jesus' name. You? Adam? Where is he? He's at home. What's he doing? Uh, he's walking. He's walking. Uh, he's preparing for his wedding. He's preparing for what? His wedding. His wedding. Yes. We have to pray so that you will not have an accident on the road. Huh? Where is where are they doing the wedding? Okay. Don't be afraid. Go. Okay. I'm not a prophet of doom. There's no room. This is this is the word. There is only light. You understand? Hold my hands. Lord in Jesus' name. Let there be perfection right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. What? Abigail. Abigail. Where's your mother, my dear? She's at home. She's at home. Yeah. Let's pray for her. The Lord wants to bring miracles for her. There's someone with you came with a picture of someone. Is it that he's abroad or abroad? He's abroad. Because this is what I'm seeing. Hold on now. This is a picture abroad. Eh? She do travel there, but now she's in Abuja. She travels abroad. Who is yes, she? Yes, my auntie. Fruit of the womb. She got married. Hold on now. <laughs> Let me talk to you. I'm seeing four lines on this picture. How many years has she been married? Since 2006. I'm seeing four lines. She's had at least, has she had miscarriages? Yes, but I don't know how many times. This is four. I'm seeing one, two, three. Four, four different miscarriages. They even wanted to try. Um, anyway, that's not the issue. You believe Jesus Christ for her? Lord Jesus Christ, you are mighty in our midst. Glorify your son. Right now, let the power of God touch her. Let it touch you through her. In the name of Jesus, you return with your miracle. My dear, let me pray for your mother. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be healing for her mother. And let there be healing for you in Jesus' name. Your sister, what's wrong with her? She got married since 2003 and still up to now. She no fruit of the womb. Where are you from? 
and from Gardner's Gate. I won't say it here, but you see, let me speak a parable. When Jesus comes into your life, when you need the help of God, you can't make salt water and clean water. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Huh? You can't come and make salt water and then you want Jesus Christ to add fresh water on top. If you are for God, you must seek him completely. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. You see, when we become desperate for a change, we are humans. And I know that a lot of people will start suggesting a lot of things. Jose, you see, it's not like he's a herbalist. He used to just see. Look, let me tell you. We've shared this you can get my teaching on the mysteries of the kingdom. Herbalists and demonic people, they work with, they manipulate spiritual laws, correct spiritual laws. But it is not a spiritual law that makes you a Christian. It is that it must be initiated and sustained by only the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Ken, God is visiting your family. God is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Ella, the Lord is visiting your family. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord and I'm seeing them going to Kano in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is visiting your family and even you is visiting you. What is happening to you is restoration. Restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is bringing restoration. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for sick people now. So if you came with um, your sick, immediately I pray for this lady. Now is the time so that we can minister to the sick. It's amazing that this is a vigil and it's already morning. Praise God. Um, sweetheart, look at me. What's her name? Ladi. 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 In the name of Jesus, Ladi, we bring you the power of the kingdom. By the mercy of God, we command be made whole right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, return with your child. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you came here specifically for healing, any part of this country or this city, please come out right now. It's time for you to be healed. Time for you to be healed. Come and stand. Please, ushers, just line them up. God is already touching people. Look how many people came specifically to be healed. Hallelujah. Steve, can you come and just lead us in worship while we do that? Please don't remain. Don't worry, we are patient. This is a miracle service. We're not here to waste your time. Please be patient. No fighting, no nothing. Jesus Christ is going to step in. No matter what the situation is, listen to me. No matter what the situation is, I'd like you to believe in Jesus. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, we Jesus, there is healing in your name. Now, some of you stood here for healing, but the Lord is going to be touching other areas of your life. But please, we are ministering specifically to sick people. We have very few minutes and we have to do a lot of things. Please make sure that you connect while you're seated. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. As Steve leads us in worship, I'd like us to connect to what God is doing because there are still at least two or three things that we have to do. Praise God. And in case you've not written your prayer request, God answers prayers in this place. Those of you crying, stop crying. Stop crying. I'm seeing a lot of people crying and it's touching me. My dear, please stop crying. Jesus will visit you. Listen, never criticize the healing ministry. You don't know the pain people are going through. No, there are families here. There are people just standing here. But I tell you the truth, they are dying. There are families that are dying. Look how many people. They all sang praise and worship. Pastor, truly, truly, 
the reality of God's power must. While we try to teach them to live in that reality of divine health, God is still merciful enough to help them. We cannot. Are you getting my point? Lord Jesus, we thank you for the ability to heal the sick. We truly give you the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your healing power be strong. Let every infirmity in this place bow to the Lordship of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let every infirmity bow. As I lay my hands upon you, the Lord sets you free. Sister, look at me. Healed! Now, your stomach, the Lord is setting you free. So please, let's be organized while they lead worship. Those of us seated, please be praying in tongues and connecting. There are so many things we are going to do. Thank you, Jesus. Let the name of the Lord be exalted in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Oh, Jesus, we believe. What is wrong? This is stroke. Complete stroke. You are unable to move. Oh, the devil is wicked. What is this? Father, would you do a miracle in our daddy's body right now? I curse the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Let life come to your limbs in the name of Jesus Christ. Let life come to your limbs. You are going to walk right now in Jesus name you believe that look at me sir in the name of Jesus walk come 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 are you feeling strength come walk don't be afraid you will not fall in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus for what you are doing I give you all the praise I give you all the place I, I losing all of the nerves in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ please exercise yourself around you can turn back exercise yourself give Jesus praise careful careful for him this is completely paralyzed of stroke the devil is so wicked so wicked thank you Lord Jesus Christ go ahead Steve let's save time thank you Jesus Christ my dear it's okay stop crying why are you crying <laughs> You are what? Spirit husband. The Bible says male and female, not female and spirit. Male and female. Look at me. Weep not. When Jesus steps in, there is hope. Oh, I love Jesus. Look at me. You believe Jesus will set you free? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Ready? Go ahead. Jesus! 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 Out! Out of her now. Out! I challenge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That wicked spirit. Out! 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 This lady has been going to church every Sunday, yet this spirit has been comfortably sitting down. Her academic zero, everything zero. You leave now, never to return. Now! Never to return. For the blood speaks. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. For you are glorious, sleep and worthy to be.
be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And I'm done. Out. 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 be healed. I rebuke the spirit. The blood of the voice You are the Lord. For you are For you are the Lord. has come not just to you but to your entire family this morning Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ where are you please let's save time please let's save time time is not on our side come 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 it's true. there is nothing working what is an umbra that's Anambra Street. Anambra, I know, I know. What is Anambra? What do you have to do with Anambra? No, I have nothing to do. I'm from Adi. Because I'm seeing Anambra. Who is, who is there? Is there anyone from there? No, I'm seeing a lady. Oh, this is a lady. And I'm seeing Anambra. Huh? I think so. maybe you are from the state or something like that. Who? Just, I know there are many people just follow. Come. Please let's save time. There is so much to do. Jesus, <coughs> let this idol that I see, I'm looking at this lady and I'm not seeing her face. I'm seeing the face of something that is as old as 127 years old. It's something that they worship in an Ambra state. This is what the Lord is showing me. And it has tied down her life. Because I'm seeing chains but the chains are made up of snakes in the name that is above all names. Be set free now. I lay my hands upon you as an envoy of God's presence. Be free. Be free now. Let her family go. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name. Daddy, where are the children? I'm going to pray for you, sir. Things will turn around in your life. I want to assure you. All the way from where, sir? From Kaduna. You came from Kaduna. Jesus, well, don't worry. You understand? I know what is wrong with you. This is not a word of knowledge. I'm aware. But I want you to know. That Jesus is Lord. No matter how impossible it is with men, it must go. You are not alone. There are many people with this same thing in this place. The Lord Jesus is there. Hold my hands. You are risen from the dead. You are Lord. Light is shining. Let her go out in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay 
your hands on your stomach, my dear. I release the power of God. I set you free. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy. I'm seeing both of your hands tied down. And the Lord is telling me to release you. Financially, things are very down. Is that true? I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. Financially, very down. And I've been battling with diabetes and hiccup. Hiccups? Hiccup. When it started, it seemed like it was trying to block my chest. How long has this been, sir? It started February. This year? Yes. You came and here? I had been hospitalized for two times on that. On this? Yes. Jesus is going to heal you right now. Amen. Oh, Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I don't know what would have done for people except for the power of the Holy Spirit. Daddy, be healed right now. Please hold my hands. May you begin to prosper by the Spirit of God. I release you and your family members. Be healed. Diabetes, be healed. I rebuke that devil of infirmity in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. All right, Steve, please lead us in worship. Let's hurry up. There are so many people. Please don't worry. I mustn't listen. Let me tell you something. I think I need to explain something. I don't have to prophesy, like mention your case. Are you getting my point? For you to know that okay, the Lord is going to touch you. Not at all. So you don't have to push people. Everyone who are going to minister to you. Why are you crying? Come. 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 What's the problem, my dear? What's the problem? Oh. What? Kidney infection and HIV. You know that physically speaking, this is a death sentence kidney plus HIV but not when Jesus not when he steps in sweetheart with men it is impossible but the Lord will give you brand new kidneys right now and that devil of HIV must pack his load and live your life see you know the reason why many of us never have the anointing is because we don't have the patience to help people we just want to shine if you truly care about people, compassion is what moves the release of the anointing. When I see people cry, it affects me. I remember the things that I saw in the spirit. My dear, there is a way. And Jesus is that way. Are you listening to me? I make boast to tell you that you will be healed. Absolutely. It's not trial and error. Look at, look at how, how many people are crying. You just see people standing. But some people have already, it's like they've signed their death warrant. I speak to every hopeless situation in this place. In the name of Jesus, like the dry bones in Ezekiel's valley, there is hope for you tonight. In the name of Jesus, bless you, Steve. Now, brand new kidneys, HIV never return. I cause that virus, it leaves your body right now. You will check and there will be no trace, no single trace. And I command those dead kidneys, let brand new kidneys come from heaven.
this is your is rotting him is this a wound or is rotting or something i'm seeing a bandage oh my god this is it's okay it's okay leg is rotten in. Jesus I stretch my hands please do a miracle mommy you will not die you're already thinking of death hold my hands you will not die she has diabetes so her wounds don't heal and this thing is already eating her legs they're now tiny. Hold my hands. I cast that spirit right now. Be gone. Mommy, please don't cry. This is an elderly woman. Help her with it. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. I cast that devil. That pain, that abdominal pain, it leaves now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it leaves now. She's a worker in this house. And in the name of Jesus Christ, she's entitled to the blessings that follow kingdom service. Therefore, I set you free. And the Lord set your family free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, please, don't cry. This will dry up. In Jesus' name, God bless you. If they pray for you, you can go. We don't have time to take testimonies. It's already morning. Hallelujah. We will take any testimonies next week. Thank you, Jesus. Mommy, we heal in Jesus' name. Spirit, they disturb him. Eh? Eh? What's he say? I mean, my son, let's see the person. Eh? Speechless, man. It's okay, daddy, don't worry. Ooh. Jesus will solve it in Jesus' name. Whatever it is, Jesus is about to touch the whole family. My brother, what's the issue? I have spiritual, spiritual things. Spiritual things. Yeah, but a spiritual thing is it's not like you are, you see, please, let me explain something. Jesus is not a magician. You have to press into God. No matter how much I pray for you now, you see, this spirit will leave, but ultimately your passion and your desire for spiritual things. Are you following me now? You must be ready to truly commit your all and walk with Jesus. This is the ultimate remedy. Because you are a great man. Please, when I make the altar call, please don't hesitate to come out. Lord Jesus, I cast that spirit right now. He will be healed right now. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. That in the name of Jesus, the Lord touches you. Cast that spirit out! She will not die. Out! That devil of stroke. Out! Are you seeing? Hold on, please. You see? Hold on. Are you, are you seeing paralysis? You see that this lady is already paralyzing from her face down because it's the devil of darkness. Let her go now. I curse you by the name of the God of heaven. You must let her go. 
Bless you, Steve. Sorry I keep interrupting. I just want to use this and explain certain things. My dear, this old twisting of your face will go down. This is a lovely lady. Praise God.
begin to walk around and correct the prayer requests please please this is a time to pass your prayer requests and for those online media people let's have it so that we can as soon as we're done we can pray on it hallelujah praise the lord you are the most you are the most
Let's all rise on our feet. This is the last session. I love this part because this is where we get to invoke the presence of God. There is no matter how many things we see, no matter how many people we minister to, this is a representation of the hunger and the desperation of almost everyone here. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come hallelujah i want you to know that the lord god of heaven answers prayers in this place this is not just some religious activity hallelujah praise the lord pastor ike let me invite you to join me as we pray over this request now i want you to stretch your hands those outside stretch your hands towards the projector and let's just pray in tongues for two to five minutes as we speak over this request. This represents the desire of God's people. Steve, you can join me too. Go ahead, stretch your hands as we pray. Go ahead, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Rambo Kosuto Protoko Dobo Shubalada. seconds 60 more seconds to begin to declare war in the spirit lift up your voice and begin to declare 60 more seconds ratu go bamba le cabro do chande ke le bala de ke de bando lo ka ricati se ke le bro do ka bamba de ke le bo kolo bana ka ba ya tele bolo sana bala ba de ke le bro ka ba de ka ba ma po tele bana ngra bala de lo bo chande ka la ba de 
satele bokapa na galabro de gede bosa naga gitala bro golo bosi tele galaba you have 15 more seconds lift up your voice and declare right now basso pamala bo pamali gede de tana de galaba ma bro kopan de gede bolo san de gede ba rapete gele bo pan de gele gele de gele bo san de galaba usi ana na bolo bo timbale gele ana galaba o chi ana mana gala mana de galo chete galaba Batolo bo kite bala de gede bo basso pike prande kande Lingro dingling dinga tanglo tanga mana pe ipo sande kalebe tu taya taya po sana baya ba ipo lo sana bala ba. I want you to declare a thunderous amen in Jesus mighty name. Only those are the overflow. I need to hear your voice in Jesus mighty name. Let all the people in the room lift up your voice and shout in Jesus' mighty name. Let every nation, every tribe, every tongue give a thunderous amen in Jesus' name. Wherever you are, make sure your two hands is connected to somebody. The Bible declares, Behold how beautiful, how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. The Bible declares, For there God commands His blessing when there is unity in the house. I need you to just squeeze our hands. Hold the hand by you. In that name that is above every other name. The name that makes demons tremble. The name that makes barren womb open. The name that makes blind eyes open. The name that makes the sick to be healed. In that name that guarantees an answer. We call on that name as a family. We call on that name as a body. We call on that name united this morning. We decree and declare every secret petition. We decree and declare every prayer request. We decree and declare every heart desire. We decree and declare by the unction and the authority vested on me by the man of God of this house. I decree and declare answers, 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 answers right now in Jesus' name. Oh my God, you are not saying amen. You are not echoing amen. amen. Let the living shout amen. amen. And so Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We exalt your name. We lift you far above all else. For there is absolutely no God like you. We ask, oh God, that one more time prove yourself the God of the Apostle Selma the God of Isaac the God of Jacob and their father Abraham we decree and declare every secret petition is answered it's answered in Jesus mighty name and finally let every living soul shout the name of Jesus seven times to seal this great miracle can we go right now one two shout somebody shout somebody 
Somebody shout! Somebody shout! Somebody shout! Somebody shout! When you want to shout the seventh time, I need you to jump on your feet and shout the name that's above all the names. Everybody shout! Jesus! 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 Hallelujah! 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 This is the best part of the meeting for me right now. What is about to happen? Because this is where many of you will see the creative power of prophecy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. Please, I'd like you to be sensitive. It's already 5.30. Can you imagine? Soon we'll be out of this place. But I'd like you to know that something is about to change in your life. Truly, truly, I believe that this is the greatest part of this meeting. Because when the word of God comes your way, it does something remarkable. Hallelujah. There's someone, you have, we don't have time, you don't have to come out now. There's someone you've been trusting the Lord. And um, in fact, I'm seeing is a lady. And you're insisting that you must marry by December. And this is a very serious thing. You've, you've implicated yourself. You've said December. But the Lord is showing me April 2015. You are one of them. My dear, you. I'm seeing a lady. God is giving you a word. So don't kill yourself for nothing and say, I must marry. If you want to marry tomorrow, the devil will bring somebody for you. But you see, you have to be careful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. And bones began to be joined to bones. When Jesus appeared to me, one of the things that he did to me was to allow the light of his glory and his presence to enter into my being. And so every time I open my mouth to prophesy, that's all I see, that light. It's like a drug. It steps into your destiny and creates the Garden of Eden. Whatever it is, please, I'd like you to believe. Please. People have changed. The power of God is already moving. Help them, please. I know that we have abused prophecy. And in the country around, many people make so much boast about understanding the prophetic. But in reality, you see, um, the creative dimension of God's word is the strongest level of the operation of the word. The ability to make something out of nothing. Many of us just know the revelatory dimension. But if anything will ever happen in your life, it will take the power, the creative power. Hallelujah. So as I pray, in this few minutes, I'd like you to shout Amen from the depths of your heart. And I want you to receive. You can choose to argue it and go back the same. Especially for those of us who um, came from far and near. People traveled all the way. Some have been here all through the week. Please. Because you must return with a testimony. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say. He is mighty to say. Forever, author of salvation. He will conquer the grave. Let's sing one more time. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Forever, author of salvation. He rolls and conquers the grave. Jesus conquers the 
in the name that is above all names i prophesy to everyone who is trusting god for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of god may you hear the voice of the lord in the name of jesus i prophesy clarity in the name of jesus you don't have to bring them out just just leave them you don't have to bring them out again we're out of time i prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of jesus may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the bible says there is a way that seemeth right you must be at the geography of your grace to thrive and isaac sowed not everywhere in that land in the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty i pray for everybody here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the lord told moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward i prophesy over your destiny move forward now move forward now move forward now make progress now make progress now i prophesy over those trusting god to settle down maritally every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny in the name of jesus that embargo is lifted now by the blood of jesus that embargo is lifted now sisters i open your marital doors now in the name of jesus no more shall this proverb be used in your life may the lord change your story hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of jesus the anointing that distinguishes you from today everywhere you go be distinguished now help them please so that they don't preach. be distinguished now be distinguished now no more will you be common no more will you be like the rest the hand of god is upon you no more will you be common i prophesy from the depths of my heart let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now all those trusting god for jobs let me there's nothing as joblessness the bible says he saw them idle and he said why standest ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine 
when God speaks, there must be job. In the name of the Lord Jesus, wherever your job is, I don't care what the limiting factors are, there is a superior advantage because you are in Christ. Therefore, I invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 Hallelujah. I pray for everyone called barren in this place. Anyone called barren in this place. I declare to you according to the word of the Lord. That according to the time of life. May you return with your miracle child. May you return with your miracle child. I speak it. I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 It says son of man what seest thou And he said four horns These are the horns That have lifted up themselves against Israel Against Jerusalem And against Judah So that no man will lift up his head He said but I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now, now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now limitations be broken now Limitations I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost Limitations be broken now Be broken now Be broken now Let the power of God Break every limitation now Hallelujah He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings. Favor with destiny help us. In the name of Jesus. Every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now. We provoke their ministry now. We provoke their ministry now. hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around cycles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again 
he said master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah i pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death or earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ i command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place i pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates i command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of jesus christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of jesus now lift up your hands i want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost i cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance i command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of greed 
let it be far from your life in the name of Jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may God give you wisdom may God give you favor may God bless the works of your hands therefore I release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus God gives you wisdom God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus hallelujah everyone here who is trusting God and is saying Lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying Lord if there was a way I can turn the hands of time I prophesy to you there is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of Jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ we call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah I pray finally whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my God arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their God in the name that is above all names that God will arise for you my God will arise for you my God will arise for you now hold on before we round up we're finishing by six six on the dot I'll take five minutes and do something fast and we're going to have hot praise for five minutes we can't go without praise you seal these things that God is doing with praise hallelujah now keep standing everybody I want to make an altar call right now please hallelujah there are many people here inside and outside you've heard the word of the Lord you've experienced the power of God the touch of God the ministry of God's servants and God's vessels but you have not made a decision for Jesus Christ you may be a Christian but you've not truly made a genuine decision for Jesus Christ and then there are others you once made a decision for Jesus Christ truly but you found yourself derailing right now in the name of Jesus I want to give you an opportunity the Lord is asking you to return home this is one of the greatest miracles I know that there are many of us outside forget about your friends and whoever you came with you're saying Lord I'm coming to commit myself genuinely I'm inviting you right now as I count five one God bless you God bless you appreciate them two I know they are coming God bless you please hurry up and come it's a great thing it's a great thing three appreciate them I believe there are so many other people that the Lord is speaking to don't be afraid this is a family don't be ashamed it's time to come to Jesus genuinely genuine repentance not emotional hype to make a decision that determines the next course of your life Four, God bless them you're still coming I believe that the Holy Ghost is still speaking to some other people don't remain there five i'll begin to pray now but you can still come and join us god bless you the devil is a liar no power will stop you in case the lord is still speaking to you please find your way run to jesus it's the greatest decision you will ever make in your life hallelujah those of us here thank you so much for coming we salute your courage i want to lead you to make the greatest prayer and decision in your life 
after all is said and done in this life, this is all that will matter. The quality of the decision you have made today will determine your eternal destiny. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me, Lord Jesus. Please mean it from the depth of your heart. Don't recite it like a poem. Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. You shed your blood for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare today that I'm saved. I'm a child of God. My name is in the Lamb's book of life. I denounce sin and Satan. The power of sin is broken over my life. From today, I arise a champion. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Make me an ambassador for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for these ones. They have come before you. Spirit of the living God, I pray that you preserve them. Let their decisions be genuine. Grace for them to stand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please arise. God bless you. Thank you for this great decision. I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. Just follow the gentleman waving his hands. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Now, let me just perform two quick functions. Pastor Ike came with his CDs. How many of you were blessed by the ministry of Pastor Ike? Come on, celebrate grace. Koinonia, you know better than this. Celebrate grace. Hallelujah. He's here with his CDs. He brought as much as one, two, three, four, five, five complimentary copies for me. Please help me tell him thank you. Hallelujah. They are available. I believe that um, there are some with Jordan Bookstore. And I believe that it's possible to get probably a few limited copies. Very powerful. Really very powerful. And um, let me use the opportunity to just introduce to us one more time. Aaron Dandodo and Susan Legbo, where are you? They're getting married on the 18th. Aaron, quickly. Susan. Let this be the way they clap for you during your wedding. You will reap what you sow. Where is she? You are not doing again. Hallelujah. There are wonderful, faithful people in this house. Aaron has been with us for years. And Susan is a member of the prayer band. Praise the Lord. And um, we thank God for what God is doing. Stretch your hands pray for them. Their wedding is on the 18th. They will be tying the knot in Mina. Pray for them. Say, Lord, every resource required is provided. And many of you, God may lead you to sow seeds into their lives. Go ahead. Go ahead. So connect with what God is doing. Connect with what God is doing. Lord, we ask that you bless them. Bless Aaron. Bless Susan. We bless your wedding. Most importantly, we bless your marriage. May you experience the hand of God in your home in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Please celebrate them one more time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, Pastor Yinka will be um, will be called a husband proper. <laughs> Hallelujah. We give God all the praise. A few people left the day before yesterday to grace the wedding. Um, the wedding of Aaron and Susan will be at UMCA Church behind Mr. Biggs Tonga at Mina State. Reception is at Honorable Justice Idris Legbo Hall near the government house at Mina Niger State. As many of us, Aaron has been a blessing to the body of Christ. Please let's invest our resources, and then our presence. Um, this is from the prayer department. There will be massive Holy Ghost baptism on Tuesday. For those of us who have been trusting God, please, if you are here, for adventure, you are new, and you've not been filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in fluent tongues, fluent tongues, not just talking anyhow. You need to receive a real baptism, genuinely. Join the prayer band Tuesday, the 30th, of September, 
at Rema Chapel. Time is 4 p.m. Please invite your friends and loved ones. Project 10,000 is still on. Please be part of it. And the Lord will help you. Praise the Lord. You can book for counseling immediately after the service. Uh, the protocol department will be waiting here. Please, if you are coming for counseling from another state, would advise that you come at least on Sunday. Praise God. Or at least Monday, leave early in the morning so that um, you can come and be settled. Praise the Lord. The booking ends tomorrow by 6 p.m. The free bus transport is limited immediately after the service. For those going to Shikan, Congo, please wait at the projector stand outside. Take note of our official lines, both um, um, the protocol and the media lines. Please take advantage of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I also want to announce that the general workers retreat has been shifted. Please, all workers, because of the um, nature of the weekend, please and please, we have decided to shift it so that everyone can rest. Hallelujah. The various heads of department will communicate this accordingly. Okay. The audition for the worship team will be on the 1st of October. Hallelujah. So all applicants, please make sure you mark that date and prepare. You can meet your head of department immediately after the service for more information. Hallelujah. School of Ministry students, we are not having lectures today again. Please, our lectures will be tomorrow since there's no retreat again. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. prompt. 2 p.m. prompt. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please announce it to those who are coming in from Kaduna if they are not around so that they don't bother taking um, the pain to come and then not. We just want everybody to rest. So everyone you can use today and rest. There are other meetings. CGC is having its uh, convention. And then there is a program that is happening in, I think, God Life today. Um, Aaron and... Um, one of the business experts, they are putting on a program. So there are many things happening at the same time. It's quite a busy weekend. And for many of us who have been preparing for this meeting, so please afterwards, take out time and rest. Those who have been fasting, it's time to eat. Praise the Lord, so that you don't die in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me take this time to appreciate the Orions. Please, I'd like you to celebrate them. Please, Koinonia, celebrate them. It's an investment of honor. Hallelujah. I want us to celebrate the redeemed dancers. Wonderful. It was so, so lovely. Hallelujah. I'd like us to celebrate the man of God, Steve Strings. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. We love you. Love you. We truly honor you. I'd like us to celebrate the dear woman of God. Goodness, I was blown away. Please. Rosemary, please celebrate her. Thank you. Thank you so much. May the Lord honor you. Thank you for coming all the way. And I'd like us to celebrate Pastor Ike and his wonderful wife. I think she should stand here and let's see her. Pastor, you spoke so much about her. Please, ma. You know she's not. Come on now. Pastor, do it for us. Those of you who plan to be bad husbands, that's going to be the last prophecy before we leave. May God change your mindset in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please celebrate them. May your home be like this. Every Tom and Jerry marriage, I curse it in Jesus' name. Bless you, man. Thank you so much for coming. Hallelujah. And then I'd like us to celebrate every department in this house. Wonderful people. Wonderful people. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate our online community. There are more people following online than you can imagine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. All those worshiping with us for the first time, as we round up, please, I'd like you to come out. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Make your way to the front, inside and outside. Make your way to the front right now. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Please come, those who are worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time here, aside from our invited guests. You're welcome. Don't let anyone sit down around you who is coming here for the first time. We have a prayer 
and a blessing for you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Pastor. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. Your life will never be the same. Thank you for the investment of your time. This is our vigil and we bless God for your presence. I guarantee you that you will return with such a hunger for spiritual things. May the Lord honor you in Jesus' name. Father, we bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will meet your expectations beyond your imagination. You are blessed. As you return, you return with the presence of God. You return with the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, I'd like you to just follow the gentleman waving his hands. He will have your information and he will welcome you more warmly on our behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace. After that, we're going to have five minutes of hot praise. Hallelujah. Pastor Ike will round up this meeting with hot praise. Hallelujah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I'll be here very briefly to say hi to as many people. God bless you. Pastor Sir. Hey, 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 my God is good, yo. My God is good, yo. Come on, come on, come on, come on. My God is good, yo. Somebody worship, somebody pray. 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 To say, yeah, I will lift him higher. Yeah, I will lift him higher. I will lift him higher. Hello, beloved. subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.